yeah please go ahead thank you so good evening everyone again i am swati from pharma state and along with me is dr satish who is coordinating this live event for us the speaker for today is mr bhaskar chakrabarti a very well known face in the pharma industry and i will be introducing about him in a few minutes the topic for today that we chose is marketing 4.0 we are uh, post rather i would say this is a phase where we are not post covid in also and uh, not even uh, in between covid so a phase which is completely vuka sort of situation but here has come an important concept of knowing about marketing 4.0 uh we have also heard i have even heard about marketing 5.0 but let us see where marketing 4.0 leads us to introducing about uh, mr bhaskar chakrabarti most of you must be knowing him he is having 38 years of experience in pharma sales and marketing um he is arguably one of the first mbas who started his career as medical representative and um, he has bsc in physiology and from the reputed uh, presidency college kolkata He has worked with seven companies, namely Raptacos, Brett, Pfizer, German Remedies, Cipla, Parker Davis, Ipka, and Micro Labs. His journey has been right from the uh, bottom till the top, from medical rep to district manager, product manager, group product manager, marketing manager, country manager, and vice president. And he had a long stint with Micro Labs in Sudan. so many uh, uh, guests from sudan have also joined us we welcome you um, uh, the guest from sudan and he switched into academics in the last 2 years teaching marketing to mba students in bengaluru he is a uh, enthusiast of digital marketing and i assure you this session is going to be one very important session in the history of indian pharma industry where we are going to learn about marketing 4.0 So welcome Bhaskar sir and I hand this session now to you to take us through marketing 4.0 Okay Namaskar good evening Assalamu alaikum for my friends in Sudan and uh, Sat Sri Akal So I'm really very happy to be with all of you today uh, thanks to Dr Swati and dr satish from uh, pharma state academy who have given me this opportunity to interact with uh, you all and uh, today it seems like you know like after dashera we meet we uh, in some part in the eastern parts we call it bijoy sammilan so it's like that that after dashera we are all meeting to exchange pleasantries uh, greetings i am not really going to give a lecture i want this to be a interactive session as uh, we always have so uh, and uh, i find that there are some of my uh, some of my senior colleagues my peers my students greetings to all of you thank you for taking out this time and coming to uh, interact with me thank you once again and let's start without much ado okay so then of course i uh, you know we have this old habit of using the visual aid so let me take out the visual aid <laughs> yeah so this is uh, where is it yeah wonderful so, basket yeah this is my visual aid this is the first page so um, marketing 4.0 at pharma industry and you've got my name bhaskar chakravarti so uh, you know like i want to tell you something at the basic thing in the beginning that whenever we interview someone either for recruitment or student we always ask basic questions like people who come for a farm like b farm student coming for say a product management job or a medical rep job field manager job mm -hmm. my favorite question to judge the knowledge i ask uh, can you explain what is pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics you know so you will not believe that many falter they know but they forget so our job is to remind them 
so i keep telling them that pharmacodynamics always remember d for drug what the drug does to the body mode of action mechanism of action and pharmacokinetics is kinetic honda movement so absorption metabolism distribution excretion so this is how we need to know the basics today i am going to talk to you all about marketing 4.0 before going to marketing 4.0 let us have a clear understanding what marketing is what is the definition today honestly i have not come to uh, give you a lecture on marketing but i want to start with uh i want to start with the definition of marketing this is very important and this definition is still considered the latest definition by the american marketing association because you know american marketing association is uh, the standard universal standard for marketing and this definition was uh, brought out in 2007 and you know like every definition the definition of marketing uh, which is to be accepted by american marketing association is vetted every year and none other than dr philip kotler he evaluates the de de definition so till 2017 this definition has been approved by the american marketing association after 2017 what has happened there is no information so we take it that this still stand as the current definition of marketing because if you really study the evolution of marketing you will find so many at least 27 definitions in in the last 40 50 years okay every time it has evolved the definition because of the changing uh, environment and the situation so this definition says that marketing is the activity set of institutions and processes for creating communicating delivering and exchanging offerings that have value for customers clients partners and society at large now if you break up this the first line is actually managerial the activities the set of institutions that of institutions talks about the vision the mission the objective the strategies see and then the processes but what is for a marketing person of course those are the those you know the activity set of institution processes give the direction but in marketing what is more essential is creating communicating delivering and exchanging now creating dr philip kotler says that creating is like product management you create a product but once you start communicating then it is brand management and delivering is the channels today we are all talking of omni channel various channels offline online so delivery and exchange here what he means is that you are offering a solution to the customer to satisfy the needs desires and to relieve from the pain and to do a job to gain but what is the customer willing to pay that is the exchange but most important of all is whether your offering has a value here the value simply means well, is it worth it does it have any merit does it have any importance uh, is does it have any usefulness so value is something above the price and uh, in the course of the uh, session we will talk more on this value proposition we'll see okay now that we have defined marketing which is the latest definition now i give my tribute to 
the most influential marketer of all times, Dr. Philip Kotler. Now, uh, just to add few words about him, you know, I got this introduction sent from his office because I'm not worthy of introducing him. It says the official introduction of, uh, you know, he doesn't say doctor. He's so humble. Philip Kotler, although he's a PhD, but we re everyone refers to him as Philip Kotler. In the field of marketing, Philip Kotler has distinguished himself on many levels. He is an innovative thought leader, a revered educator, an accomplished author of over 55 books. He's a well-trained speaker, social activist, and trusted consultant to the world's most recognized corporate brands. Philip Kotler is the S.C. Johnson and Son Distinguished Professor of International Marketing at the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University. This is in Illinois, in USA and is the author of Marketing Management, first published in 1967. And today we have his 15th edition. And mind you, every edition is a value addition till the 15th. And is considered to be the definite treatment of the discipline of marketing. He is dubbed as the marketing guru and the most influential marketer of all times. Now, I have few questions. Everyone's heard of marketing. Everyone's heard of Philip Kotler. I want to make it more interactive. Other is not no fun. Okay. So, uh, Dr. Satish, can you unmute yourself, Dr. Satish? Yeah, sure, sir. Yeah. See, Dr. Satish, I am going to ask the audience uh, two, three questions. Okay. And they have to give me the answer by chat mode. Sure, okay? sir. Yeah. You will keep track of the correct answers, especially the mm -hmm. first answers. They come mm -hmm. spontaneously without Googling. Okay. Yeah. So these correct answers, if you give me the names and the email address, I will personally gratify them with a reward. Sure, sir. Great. Right? So yeah. quiz time on Philip Kotler. Okay, the first question. Who will tell me what is Philip Kotler's age? Let's get the answers in the chat mode. Yeah, please. Dr. Satish, are you seeing? Yeah, I'm seeing, sir. So we're writing that. We are noticing. Uh, you can also see on your side, sir. Can yeah, yeah, I will also see. Yeah, yeah, great. In the chat, it is coming. Wow. <laughs> so, sir, the time is much. Google ho jaye ka itne der mein. <laughs> no, no, no. One minute, one minute. Yes, yes. Stop, stop. So stop whoever now. has said, whoever has said eighty nine, as the correct answer. I can see Chandan, wow. Gaurav, Manikanta. Ah, Manikanta, all my students. And let me see now, uh, who was the first? Who was the first? Who was the first? Ah, Dayanand Pujari. He was yes. the first. Yes, sir. He's probably not Google, but I, I don't underestimate others. But anyway, yeah. whoever has said 89 is the correct answer. See, Philip Kotler is knocking 90. Can you imagine? He is knocking 90. Uh, his birthday is 27th May, 1931, I think. Yeah. So he's knocking 90. His age is 89. And he is so updated in what is happening today. That is his greatness. I really, uh, I, I like him so much. He is a grand old man. He's taught us so many things. Okay, my next question, my next question, 
he he has now satish you'll have to see whoever answers fast you know yes, sure, first, sure. because they yes, are the yes. ones you know they know yeah They're spontaneous yes okay okay now you know philip kotler has an ma masters degree from the university of chicago and he has done his phd from mit massachusetts institute of technology okay so ma and phd who will tell me what subject because ma and phd they have to be more of the same subject right what subject who are the first let's see early birds economics entrepreneurship okay economics. okay chandan chandan you are the winner oh gopi krishna gopi krishna yes yes no it's economics it's economics let's see who are the first let's see who are the first uh, uh yeah gopi krishna gopi krishna right gopi krishna will get a prize from me gopi krishna will get a prize for me then uh, let's see who else and chandan chandan gorov yeah okay and even krishna pande amog okay no problems all of them i will give okay but gopi krishna was the first very good see can you imagine philip kotler actually is an economist and that is what you know his knowledge of economics has helped him to understand the market from the basics of demand and supply and you know marketing dynamics because everything is based on economics but you know something he is a genius he also went to the harvard university sorry i am um, spending more time with philip kotler because he deserves that uh, he went to harvard university to do a post doctoral post doctoral harvard university after his phd let's see who are the first respondents let's see who are the first respondents what subject did he do his post doc what subject satish no answers yet <laughs> one minute yeah okay post doctor no one who cracks this he is i really hats off to him one who cracks this means that fellow <laughs> sir oh, looks chandan, like chandan chandan yeah, google yeah. is helping ha huh? sorry google is helping here sir you got no problem <laughs> no problem at least they have uh, now today they have come to know that yeah. philip kotler is also a mathematician can you imagine he is also a mathematician and then he did another post doc now i am this is um, uh, not a question okay uh, but i am just sharing with you he did a post doc in his alma mater university of chicago where he did his ma and the post doc he did in behavioral science that is how he understood consumer behavior right so this is all that i could share in this limited time but we'll come to it because today we're going to discuss about him about his book okay because um, yeah okay so everyone can see the full screen yes pastor um, huh it is coming yeah yeah full there is no obstruction no because you know the panel of this uh, participants also sometimes obstructs it depends okay you you but as long as you can see this okay now let me tell you today we are going to talk about marketing 4.0 but i am going to spend some time in theory uh, just another two three slides and then i'll i'll go to the market okay 
to the Indian market, Indian pharma market, to understand the application of marketing 4.0. Now, marketing 3.0 was authored by him and his co-authors. Both the co-authors are again very surprisingly from Indonesia. Uh, Iwan uh, was his student, and the other person is an entrepreneur. So both of them of Indonesian origin, they co-authored with Philip Kotler to write Marketing 3.0. Uh, there is no Marketing 1.0, Marketing 2.0, but uh, both 1 and 2 is in 3. Okay, so this is 3 in 1. And this uh, book talks about from products to customers to human spirit. From products to customers and to the human spirit. So marketing 1.0 is product-driven marketing. Focus on manufacturing, making a product, and selling it to the market to get to the customers. Right? This is a, it started with uh, Henry Ford's time when he made a black Ford, and he said, "Okay, now." Here is the car, and you buy it, and you imagine whatever color you want it to be. But my Ford is black. You know, that kind of thing. So you make a product. You think that it's going to uh, be bought, purchased by your customers. So that is product-driven marketing. Okay, But it evolved to marketing 2.0, which is customer-centric marketing where they started studying consumer behavior, they started market research, finding out what's the need and the desire and the want, what are the pain points of the customer, whether the offering um, as a solution solves the pain points, makes the customer do the job and gain from it, you know, customer centric. So this is when the, uh, um, the four Ps came, marketing mix, Ah, here, here is, okay, I'll come to that next. I have one more question. Now, uh, yes, I have already let the cat out of the bog back. So now tell me, who's the author of the four Ps, the marketing mix, the product, price, promotion, and the place? Who's the author of the four Ps, the marketing mix? Dr. Satish. Okay. Who's the author of the four Ps, the marketing mix? There is only one answer from... What are no, 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 Pankaji. <laughs> what are five models is different. McCarthy, yeah. Prerak Mehta. Good. McCarthy, McCarthy. Yes. Jerome McCart McCarthy. Very good, very good. So all, all of them will get a prize from me. Yeah, we close at now. I don't have enough, okay, but no, no worries, no worries. Whoever now types in McCarthy will receive a gift from me, okay? Uh, I will send a digital gift through the virtual process, which you may convert to physical, okay? So digital, virtual, physical, okay? So uh, then we... we uh, close the, this question and answer, and we go to marketing 3.0. In marketing 3.0, Philip Kotler writes about human-centric marketing. Now, now the, uh, the interesting part begins, the journey begins, you know? The customer-centric, everything is fine, you know, like four Ps, STP, uh, segmentation based on the demographics, the psychographics, the behavior, the attitude, and then the targeting and the positioning, share in the mind, perception, from the, all that was good. But in Marketing 3.0, that time when he was writing this book, and that is 2014, 2014, if you see the cover, can you see the cart just below marketing 3.0? Can you see the cart? 
Just few guys tell me yes. Can you see the cart? Let me let me see your answers. Yes, you all see the cart, right? Ah, uh, that's it. So that means he's already written about the online, the digital marketing. And you see the cloud in the background. So he's already referred to cloud intervention or cloud architecture, right? So in marketing 3.0, he already experienced the technology 2014, but says that this has to be human centric more than the customer. So when I say human centric, more than the customer, what do I mean? Yes. We mean that he's talking about not only the customer, but the customer's life and the customer's livelihood. Four P's product price, McCarthy's place promotion. He says that when I'm serving my customer, I am more concerned about my company, my internal marketing, my employees. Are they trained and skilled to serve the customers? Do I know my customers? What are the segmentations? Because the same product may have different segments like we have in pharma repurposing drugs in COVID-19 situation. So competitors, he's talking about that, okay, who are there can, can, you know, Philip Kotler always talks about collaboration. He is so humble. He, all, he says that my guru is Peter Drucker. I, my guru is Ted Leovit. I've, I've been inspired by marketing myopia of Levitt. And then he says, he always, you know, even in this book, Marketing 4.0, he refers to the, the latest um, buzzword in marketing, the buzz person in marketing, Seth Godin. He says he's marvelous. He talks about permission marketing. So Philip Kotler talks about collaboration, co-creation, co-opetition. We'll come to all that, right? So it's not only competition. And then he talks about community. How do I build a community? Okay, we'll see in the courses, like what, what do I understand by the community? But more importantly, when he's talking about human spirit, he's talking about the economic wealth. Today, we are talking of life and livelihood. See, in 2014, he says that, okay, we should talk about the livelihood, the environment wellness, the social well-beings, the human wisdom, are our customers well aware of our product or the service that we are offering to them? Their awareness, their society, their environment, their wealth. So it is much above just satisfying customers. It is about human spirit, right? Creating a better world. That is what Philip Kotler talked about in marketing 3.0. So now we come to 3.4.0. Uh, I'm sorry, in my slide of 4.0, I have put a lot of it's text, have, text heavy. It shouldn't be like that. I should have given bullets. But you know, I don't want to miss out any point because I'm trying to cover the whole book in this one slide. After this slide, we we'll go to market. So. Marketing 4.0, what does Philip Kotler say? Earlier, remember, from product to customer to human spirit, this time he's talking about moving from traditional to digital. And not only that, the same authors, same co-authors, he's saying that marketing approach must combine online, offline interactions between companies and consumers and they need to coexist. 
marketeers must map out an approach to taking the customers in the path from awareness to advocacy. Aware, make the customers aware. Let the customers say, I know. Create appeal. Make the customers say, I like. Ask. Make the customers say, ask. And the customer should say, I'm convinced. And then act. The customer buys. But most importantly, the last bit of the customer pathway is advocacy. Advocacy is, I want to recommend this to the F factor. We'll see what F factor is. But advocacy in his book is the new definition of loyalty. We talk of relationship management, loyalty. When a customer advocates for your brand to the community, to friends, families, fans, followers, the F factor, that is definition of loyalty in marketing 4.0. Marketers can boost the productivity by understanding the customer path in the digital era. So you must, you must relate that to pharma industry, the patient. Okay, let's take this COVID-19 situation. They want to know more about COVID-19. What is this? Okay, So they will definitely find out very good, reliable, dependable uh, sources, websites, where they can get information and be more aware of COVID-19. But if they start coughing and suddenly they're realizing they're losing some taste or smell, they will consult the doctor. And because of this, in the pathway of the digital era, more so because of the pandemic, the digital therapeutics has also evolved. E-consultation and then e-lab uh, reporting, the, the, mm, the virtual clinic platform sends the person to take the test or the blood. And then the report, and then to the pharmacy, and then e-pharmacy delivery. So this is the customer path in the digital era, especially prompted by COVID-19. But let me tell you, Ma uh, Philip Kotler wrote this book when in 2017, there was no COVID. But can you imagine in his book, I, all these I have taken from his book, his words, not my words. He says, connectivity will become the new normal. In 2017, he said, connectivity will become the new normal. Today, we are talking of new normal, new normal. New normal, we have to wear the mask and sanitize our hands and keep distance. But in 2017, he said connectivity will become the new normal. And today we are working from home because of connectivity, because of the growth of internet and because of the smartphones in our hands. And of course the laptop. So customers are no longer passive receivers of STP. Earlier, they, the customers used to receive from one side only message about segmentation, about positioning, about the creative communication, one-sided. But today it is no more one-sided. It's a two-way communication. Communication always two-way, but it is more emphasized today. And we are not saying two-way communication, we are calling it conversation. Conversation. So traditional four Ps, product, price, promotion, place is now the digital four C's. And what is that? Co-creation. As I told you, today customer uh, companies are involving co-creating uh, offerings, pro, uh, solutions to the customers. 
customers are involved in creating co-creation. Doctors are involved in giving their feedback and we involve them in our product strategy, in our product development. We will show you that. Currency. Currency is the new pricing. It is also applicable in pharma. When I go to the market, I will show you. Currency means dynamic pricing. And how dynamic it is, we'll come to see. Communal activation. Now this word communal activation, you have to take it in the right spirit. You know, Philip Kotler, his language. It is very positive. It basically means develop community. So that there is conversation, there is advocacy amongst the customers. So that is the gist in one slide about uh, Philip Kotler's marketing 4.0. So now, how is it applied in pharma industry? That I want to show you. I have done a case study. And uh, yes, I have talked about one company, but I want to disclaim at the beginning is that this one company I have spoken about is because I've studied uh, their omni channels. I've studied that case. So, but uh, no hard feelings for other companies, please. Yes, but in between, uh, I will also mention some examples of other companies. But I will focus mainly in one company. And which is that company? It is Sipla's respiratory division. I'm not talking about all the divisions. The, I don't know, they may have been, you know, once I heard they have 12 divisions, then I heard 18 divisions. Now I'm hearing 26 divisions, you know, divisions and subdivisions, whatever. But I am only talking about Sipla's respiratory division. And let me tell you, I am not going to talk about their brands. That is marketing 4.0. I am not going to talk about, I'm going to talk about their unbranded omni-channel. You know, these three brands, these three products, brands, they have, they have uh, registered business of almost thousand crores. This is IQ via Matt August 20, respiratory three products, Foracot, Duolin, Ciroflow. Okay, now let's see what is the application of marketing 4.0 in Cipla's respiratory division. Okay, no more branding, unbranded communication with you all. Okay, yes, we're going to talk about a movement and initiative that CIPLA has taken on Breathe Free. Breathe Free is their website, digital platform, which is, now, yeah, there are four, th few things that I want to tell you about, about the digital platforms. Generally speaking, you know, digital platforms have got these benefits. It has velocity, speed. It reaches so, reaches so many customers so quickly. Velocity, okay? Then has accuracy. It can reach to the target as, you know, predetermined. Very accurate targeting. We'll come to that. So velocity, accuracy, and what else? Velocity, yeah, accuracy, accuracy, and then of course economy, economy, yeah. And there is one more, one minute. This, you know, like this is what happens: velocity, accuracy, and ah, uh, velocity, accuracy, and ubiquity, ubiquitous, present everywhere. So ubiquity, this is the benefit of digital presence because I may visit the website. Okay, I do some uh, that is known as web shopping, move around. Okay, but then I leave 
and go to another digital platform, I find the same uh, initiative, same communication is present there because they are tracking me, they are following me with artificial intelligence, machine learning algorithms. So velocity, ubiquity, accuracy, and of course, it is global, global and economic because anything that I post online, it doesn't, it's not restricted within the Indian borders. It's global, universal. So these are the advantages. Okay. And of course, you know, uh, it is interactive. You get immediate feedback within the digital pathway. So now I'm going to talk about a simpler initiative called Breathe Free. Now it says, even Philip Kotler says that, uh, you know, any, any uh, content, any content like Breathe Free is a content, an initiative. And in the Breathe Free platforms, different platforms, you will have different content. So a content is today's advertising. Content is today's advertising. I'll show you the contents. And this hashtag, Berok Zindagi, hashtag is the tagline. Berok Zindagi is the tagline. And under Berok Zindagi, inhalers hai sai is the message. So this break free, break free, Sipla initiative, hashtag Berok Zindagi, a public awareness initiative by Sipla, is my case, which I'm going to present to you as an application of marketing 4.0 in the pharma industry. Now, this is sponsored social media marketing. Because if you Google, uh, breathe free you the first ranking is their ad sponsor this is the landing page that you'll come to so so sipla has paid google for this initiative they've invested in this digital platform which has nothing to do with their brands it is totally unbranded but what is the purpose let us see see Breathe free, a simpler initiative. You have influencers, those who have followers and fans, asking us to join the cause and spread the message that asthma ke liye inhalers hai sahi. Asthma ke liye inhalers hai sahi. Now that is the message. Okay. And in this, and this is a paid initiative, and you have these influencers, you have this celebrity chef, Vikas Khanna, then you have this badminton player, P. Kashyap, then you have this lady who's a, a content writer in the, in, in the media, in the digital media, Shruti Dixit, I think, yes. And then of course, Radhika Apte, everyone knows her. She's a very good actress, influencer. So they have their fans and followers, right? I remember the, the F factor. So this sponsored social marketing of CIPLA, breathe free uh, with the message uh, under, under the hashtag, which is the tagline, Berok Zindagi, uh, and inhalers hai sahi is the message. Right. Okay. Now I know two have raised hands. Uh, like uh, later on, later on. Uh, okay. So now this landing page uh, uh, talks about what breathe free is. Talks about the breathing condition. So this is about awareness. Talks about inhalers A to Z. Talks about nebulization. And my assist in my assist you have blogs. These are contents, blogs. And I will show you in my assist, there is conversation, there is co-creation. And the Rogue Zindagi tells you that with inhalers, there is no hesitation. There is 
no limitation. You can do whatever you want to do in spite of taking inhalers. There's a myth. It, it, it crushes all the myths about inhalers, right? So now this is the landing page from here. We'll, we'll go to about Breathe Free. So here you will get to know that Breathe Free is a public service initiative from CIPLA. So it tells you what this is all about. But now you have already started no noticing a call to action. It's called a call to action here. Book an appointment. Call to action. We'll not go to call, we'll not call to action right now. We'll see more about breathe free. So then we see that you get to know about the breathing conditions. What is asthma? What is COPD? What is breathlessness? What is rhinitis? Everything. Okay. Symptoms, diagnosis, manage your condition, asthma attack, asthma in children. So awareness about breathing conditions. Awareness. Remember the customer pathway? Okay. Then you come to how uh, inhalers A to Z and see the impact of regional languages. You know, all this is also available in the mobile app. And in fact, soon you will find, uh, you know, uh, what do you call, verbal. They're going to take your verbal uh, command in regional languages and navigate you with all their um, uh, landing pages and sites, their content. So regional language. Then you have on nebulization. And in fact, they have started a, started a movement about good nebulization practice, which they again further evolved as safe nebulization practice. Now, all that I'm talking to you about is actually integrated with their field activity. They have 1,500 field force in CIPLA respiratory, respi one, respi two, respi three, different five. At least I, um, what I know is there are like what five divisions, subdivision in the respiratory. Like respi two, they promote, they promote the inhalers and whatever rotor inhalers or multi inhalers they have, and respi three promotes respules, which are nebulization, and they are in sync. They are coherent. They are all trained to communicate the same message. We'll come to that in more details. Then the content in terms of blogs. How do nebulizers help children with asthma? What are the different types of nebulizers available? People who inspire us, need for some exercise, need for acceptance. Then you have inspiring icons, join the course. You have a actor from West Bengal, Parambrata. You have uh, Harsha Bhogle. Okay, now there's an interesting question on Harsha Bhogle. What, what how many of you know about his uh, qualification, academic background? You just have to write one line. Let's interact, come on. Dr. Satish, who yeah, writes yeah. first about yeah. the academic qualification of Harsha Bhogle, the critic commented. So Pankaj sir has written, Pankaj Srivastava, MBA, IIM. I am what? Pankaj Bhai. I am where? The A, B, C, D, up to Z. <laughs> so Hitesh sir is writing medical doctor. Then I am MBA yes, mostly. Yes, Trivendu Kotaria. He is from I I M Ahmedabad. I I M A. So this isn't it very interesting that how his uh, career moved on uh, after having done PGDM from I am Ahmedabad into such a marvelous 
cricket commentator right okay so please make a note of the correct answers the respondents they'll get a prize from me okay sorry uh yeah and he is gp he's known uh, more popularly known as gp he's an influencer in kerala he is a tv anchor and a um, he became famous with a, a reality show and dance now uh, he's also an actor so he is saying that inhalers hai sahi right so inspiring icons join the cause so the f factor is uh, working here fans followers friends now see now this is co creation this is collaboration where you too can participate in this movement this is community activation community activation you share a photo of yourself making a tick mark gesture like this right and see the pictures of inspiring icons and and then copy paste the message from the link in the bio and your picture will get posted in all the social media handles of breathefree.com so you just have to tag at the rate of breathe free now in breathe free you have these young uh, key opinion leaders talking about uh, inhalers nebulization breathing conditions so this is again advocacy dr mukesh gupta take on uh, his take on suitability of inhalers for children and you see on the right they are all talking about inhalers and asthma so advocacy there's no branding here there's human spirit and now coming to call to action in breathe free okay you understood what they have offered for you to you what is their offering but now it comes to call to action either you call to book telephone or you click now my, let me tell you telephone calling is actually not digital it is personal when you listen to someone talking to you it is different it is not digital you feel very happy so and this is there from uh, time immemorial when the telephone was uh, discovered when talking you feel very close to the person so they have kept both omni channel you can call or you can click but what appointment yes this takes this breathe free takes you to what nowadays people are calling digital therapeutics librate now they have made a disclaimer sipla has made a disclaimer that this is a third party okay this is a virtual clinic and didn't i talk about currency the new name for pricing which is uh, uh, which is dynamic which is different see this once you click on you get a voucher worth 3000 for free use for doctor consultation diet counseling lab tests and more on librate and then there is permission marketing here if you allow this you start getting updates on the latest offers discounts and new products click allow to subscribe permission marketing email marketing and with currency so this again is digital marketing in pharma industry and then once you reach the e consultation you have a doctor dr hemant kalra is just one case who talks about dealing with asthma so here you see awareness remember i told you appeal and then ask once you are convinced and then act and once you have acted then you start advocacy within your community 
So this is the pathway that Philip Kotler has talked about in Marketing 4.0. Uh, it starts, as I said, awareness, appeal, uh, then ask, act, and advocacy, recommendation. Now, this we saw breathefree.com, but it's connected with social media marketing. You, you go to Facebook, you will find. So you click in their portal, in their website, they will follow you in the Facebook, okay? So here Vikas, the influence, celebrity chef, Vikas Khanna is talking about the good advice for good breathing. And now I want to make a point here again, he's talking about uh, nebulization. There's no branding, but you have 40,000 plus people viewing this, following this site in Facebook. You know, Facebook today is very strong. Uh, actually, Philip Portler says, the United States of Facebook has 2 billion population all over the world, maybe more. Every day it's increasing. And there's so much of conversation and, uh, you know, uh, advocacy going on in Facebook. And not only that, you see Vikas Khanna, the celebrity chef, who is an asthmatic, he is talking to key opinion leaders from Calcutta, from South, from North. Uh, and he's moderating a webinar with expert, experts. This is in Facebook. This is in Facebook. So all this is happening. Then in Instagram, Twitter, you know, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, they're owned by all, all of you know, by Zuckerberg. Right, so they're all integrated, and the population that they have, the so much of conversation advocacy going on in these, it does definitely uh, help you in productivity in marketing. The, these are the content in Instagram the content in Instagram and all are coherent, continuous, you know, integrated in all the social media, the same message of breathefree.com. They're not talking about brands, they're talking about the awareness of inhalers, breathing conditions, nebulization. And that beroke zindagi, Right? We're okay, Zindagi. Doesn't stop you. All these celebrities are using inhalers. There's a myth. Crush the myth. Right? Inhalers say hai. Now, YouTube. Oh my God. YouTube is the second Google. Do you know that? YouTube, the video content, is the second Google. Let me tell you, and let me share with my students if you want to. Uh, study Philip Kotler. YouTube is a very good source because he, uh, Philip Kotler travels all over the world. He, I have, I have listened to his lectures. He delivered in Seoul, South Korea, Indonesia, Dubai, Sweden, America, and different languages. And you know there are forums, bodies which uh, which upload his lectures, which you can listen to and learn and study. Similarly, if you go to breathefree.com, in, uh, I think it's Breathe Free TV, in YouTube, you will get so many videos, so many videos, and you can really uh, improve. That's called the human wisdom. Remember, Philip Portlow, human wisdom. Yes. Now, this is something very important. This, uh, I have a, I have a plugin. It's called a plugin with my YouTube, which gives the analysis of every YouTube channel. So I got the analysis of 
Breathe Free TV. And I found, you know, what did I find? I have found that 10 crore people, 100 million, I think it's 10 crore, 10 crore people have viewed the videos of breathefreetv.com. There are 216 16 videos in Breathe Free TV YouTube channel. And in the last 30 days, there are about 100,000, 8 lakh views. Of course, no new video in the last one month was posted, obvious reasons. But they've got 260 videos all about awareness of inhalers, breathing conditions, nebulization, and the campaigns that not to worry, your economic wealth will not be disturbed. Your wisdom will be there, right? You can develop this community, create advocacy. Now, now I'm coming out of breathefree.com. But I'm trying to present to you the unbranded digital presence of CIPLA. Of course, I mean, there is a little bit of branding, but caring for life 24 by 7. You know, we heard about black marketing of these uh, COVID-19 uh, treatment medications. So they put up a helpline because they wanted to help you get your medicines. This is only about availability. Okay about the, this is their initiative um, to take, to help COVID-19 patients. Okay, now let me tell you another uh, human-centric communal activation with conversation. In all the, I'm only showing you one, but with all the social media, they have a campaign. This campaign has a very good story, you know, Contain this storytelling. The story is, say you are taking care, uh, this gentleman is taking care of both home and his wife's cancer in COVID, and which is very stressing. So he wanted to get some help. They have a campaign. If cancer is becoming harder to manage in COVID, Call, can help her. If not, that person will speak to this man and help him uh, emotionally, if not at all. So this is another human-centric communal activation with conversation. All marketing 4.0. Now you're talking about collaboration and cooperation. You know, see, not competition, but cooperation. See this. They have collaborated with Roche for Actemra, Tocilizumab. And all, the, all of you in the industry know that in August, this was the biggest brand of Cipla. Uh, it came to, I think, sixth position among the top 30 brands above the inhalers. Actemra, of course, I mean, it is the situation that has boosted its usage, but still. And they are, this, is a, this is from a dear doctor letter, email marketing, where they say that Roche products importing, uh, we, are, uh, we are importing this uh, product and we are marketing and distributing the product. Collaboration, cooperation. Here about uh, Fave Piravir, again, Fave Piravir was, uh, of course, the Glenmark brand, 73 crores in September, the number one brand in one month. Okay. So uh, this is Fabi Piravir of Sipla. Now, why I'm talking about this? Because it's collaboration. They have collaborated in developing this drug with the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR, and the Indian Institute of Chemical Technology. IICT. So, see, all the C's are there in CIPLA's marketing 4.0. KOL advocacy. See, this Chest Council of India 
you know, during this COVID times, there's so many webinars. You know, this is one also one I'm connecting with so many. But a webinar masterclass on EBUS. Okay, my next question. What is EBUS? Just to make sure that people are not getting bored. Let's see what is EBUS. Come on, Dr. Satish. Yeah, kindly write your uh, answers in the comment box, chat. in the chat box, please. <laughs> Everyone is Googling, I think. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but it will be good learning. Of course. Please write, please write someone. Have... Ultrasound. Oh, and uh, yes, oh, yes. Ultrasound. true, true. Yes, okay. I'll give that. I will give that. Yes, no, okay. uh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is endobronchial ultrasound. Okay, great. Endobronchial ultrasound. Right. Okay, so we close it there now. Whoever has answered yes. correctly, please yes. note down their email addresses. Right. So I will get in touch with them. Dikshalat. And uh, I think Gaurav also, but he wrote only ultrasound okay there is uh, a time limit no yeah so, sure so you stop it <laughs> yeah 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 okay so now you see a webinar master class on ibus and by uh, this topic master is dr nagarjuna maturu from hyderabad and the moderator is dr vikas pitania or pilania and he is from jaipur asking the doctors to register for the event. This is under the banner of Chest Council of India. There's no branding. This is only about awareness, community development, advocacy, okay? Sponsored by Cipla Respiratory at the bottom. Okay, now we come to you see, they've got so many, uh, what do you call, mobile apps. And let me tell you, this Ciplamed is not only for doctors, junior doctors. They are also for their medical reps and the field force. It is uniquely designed, comprehensive online medical portal for healthcare professionals. Ciplamed provides a range of evidence-based and clinically relevant practice resources across 18 medical specialties. Okay, but even the field force, I know they are also using this. And then they have another app called the GNP, the Good Nebulizing Practice, Nebulization Practice. And of course, the tagline is hashtag safe nebulization practice. And then, of course, you have CIPLA detailing. Now, let me tell you one thing everything is very well coordinated, orchestrated and uh, integrated the field force and the digital presence, both the offline and the online. They coexist as marketing 4.0 talks about. No wonder, no wonder, finally, I mean, even if you talk in business terms, 100 crores from this three inhalers, okay? Now again, Cipla Med has announced this. This, I am sure, is from co-creation. Caring for the patient, recommended by the doctor. A new era in inhaled drug delivery. Siroflow, Synchrobreed. This is a new concept here. You know, because of their um, uh, medication for breathing conditions, they have also worked on devices, the inhalers, the nebulizers, many things, okay? or devices, but it goes hand in hand because it is beyond the pill, beyond the patient, for the community, for the, and for the planet, by the way. There's CFC, no CFC in these inhalers, okay? No carbon print, footprint or whatever you call it. So Synco Breathe is a breath actuated inhaler, which helps to overcome the coordination. Because many people, you know, uh, they, they find it difficult to coordinate. 
although they know that inhaler is the best there is no myth about that but for better coordination and this is actually a screenshot from their video this is a demo you can um, see how it works then they have a digital engagement for the stockist and retailers they are stakeholders cipla gx this is cipla generics cipla digital for medical the product guide you know all that is done with the stockists and the retailers or for the, all the retailers too cipla gx see the digital presence remember i told you ubiquity presence all across but the best part is there is a closed loop marketing integrating face to face and digital inter interaction because the uh, the digital space is engaging so are the field force engaging the doctors the patient the, even the patients huh? because i know people from uh, uh, the nebulization uh, department they the division they have gone to centers and taught the paramedical staff how to do you know, what is good nebulization practice what is safe nebulization practice uh, i know that when the children cry that is not the time for nebulization the ch ch uh, child should be at ease should be uh, playing pubg oh, okay pubg but some game right while the nebulization is done these are the things that the field force has gone and trained they have certified themselves and they have also done certification training for paramedical staff in uh, children's hospitals they opened a center for nebulization so they have engaged both together and discovered many things in this because of the conversation which they have analyzed you know here now data analytics comes into play data analytics have analyzed the data and they have responded customized response generalized response but more productive now i'm coming to the end i will just tell you uh, this is my personal opinion as i told you i am only talking about cipla because this is a case that i have studied it all depends on the leadership because the md and the global ceo if you check his linkedin again linkedin is a very effective uh, so professional um, digital platform you notice he is his the highlights of his professional profile is patient centricity transformation innovation digital health and governance this is the ceo so this goes down the rank right at at the field level at the ground level both offline online with coordination but uh, i also want to appreciate few uh, two more engagement with other companies have done like for example lupins lupin has a facebook where they were the first if i am not mistaken to start a chatbot chatbot is nothing but application of artificial intelligence machine learning where you have a robot conversing with you interacting with you. so uh, anya is is was active in the facebook lupin's facebook page and i logged in and see what she said to me hi bhaskar thank you for accepting the terms and conditions you can ask me any query related to the mentioned diseases post selecting the language please note i am not a substitute to medical advice from your physician consult your physician for any medication queries please select language please choose one of the disease i can help you with that means she is a repository digital library to uh, help you in awareness of diabetes respiratory hypertension and heart 
tuberculosis and you can keep changing the language marathi gujarati bengali punjabi telugu everything right okay now another very interesting case hats off to zydus cadila because they are the first company as far as my knowledge goes to come out with the discovery of a new chemical entity the new chemical entity is saroglitazahar brand name lipaglin you know i read about this from the press so i got interested i went to my friendly neighborhood pharmacist now the new term is pharmacist no more chemist and druggist i went to the pharmacist and asked her that can you give me a show me a pack of lipaglin then uh, she showed me lipaglin and then i found a qr code qr code is quick response code and i opened my smartphone with the qr reader and studied the qr code which what happened took me took me to their site of lipaglin.com it talked about the doctor and uh, engaging the doctors patients health blog frequently asked questions news read room updates events zydus dedicated to life novel drug to treat diabetic dyslipidemia a global unmet healthcare need and disconnectivity is based on internet of things this is another emerging technology you know internet of things the qr code takes you to the company you can in- converse with the company and there i learned again further probing that yes not in this site but lipaglin is indicated in in diabetic dyslipidemia i think mat is crossed 80 crores right and um, officially it was launched in 2013 but i i, I don't know exactly when it was uh, in the market but uh, i learned that uh, it's a wonder drug a uh, diabetic dyslipidemia discovery made in india for india all that but the latest thing is that now there is a new indication coming with lipaglin which is which is nash non alcoholic steatohepatitis which is nothing but fatty liver now what will zydus do is my big question now lipaglin is branded for lipid and glycogen but for nash will the same lipaglin 2 mg 4 mg be advocated now this is food for thought for you uh just to summarize redefining marketing on digital economy this is an uh, extract from a summary from the book marketing 4.0 is a marketing approach that combines the online and offline interaction between companies and customers blends style with substance in building brands and ultimately complements machine to machine connectivity with human to human touch to strengthen customer engagement it helps marketers to transition into the digital economy which has redefined the key concepts of marketing digital marketing and traditional marketing are meant to coexist in marketing 4.0 with the ultimate goal of winning customer advocacy the last word is customer advocacy so thank you people who want to note my address my address is there my whatsapp is there thank you very much for your patient listening over to dr satish and to dr swati i will stop sharing thank you bhaskar sir first of all for a wonderful case yeah. study and how to do this um, in the digital way the online yes. plus online offline mode that we are always talking about uh, during our sessions and this yeah. was a wonderful case study as complimented in the chat section also thank you and i think we have only compliments to the session not even a question 
So, uh, so I think I think there is one question. Okay, Satish, please see. please take uh, it. Yeah. So, so the question or comment we can say is Mr. Siddharth is saying, uh, making consumer aware about the problem is good, but can we use awareness programs in the early phase of product life cycle? Won't it benefit the competitors as the product has not been adopted by all the distribution channels? Yes, it can be. By creating awareness about the disease. You're not talking molecule or brand. You're talking about the disease. Always remember that in pharma brand management, you have to first create awareness about the disease. Maybe the content you'll find, even if this disease is prevalent, there are competitors, but you have to find out something new about the disease, the updates, things like that. So first prime the community, the doctors and um, the patient public at large about the disease. And then you can at the right time, the right moment, talk about the molecule and the brand. Yeah, right, sir. And uh, we have uh, opened the unmute uh, for all. And now you can unmute yourself and uh, just um, uh, if you want to ask a question, just hello. tell your good, name first. Yeah. Good and evening, sir. Jitendra here. Yeah. Okay, Jitendra. Welcome. Uh, uh, first of all, many, many thanks for this wonderful case study, sir. First, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, and uh, I'll move to the uh, my question. And sir, yes. um, this is very very nice case study where you have said co-creation, and with this co-creation, Sipla has made almost thousand crore in a year. And uh, do you think uh, by creating this co-create, uh, where you are not branding your product, you are not branding your product, and doing such a, a good campaign, you are investing a lot. Don't you think you are leaving some path open for your competitor as well? Because this is kind, this is kind of a campaign where I'm telling people to read the book, but I'm not specifying which book to read. Uh, so uh, in this cutthroat competition, this couldn't be this. This can be uh, any um, uh, preventive measure can be taken. So, what is your take on this kind of? Uh, yeah, my um, take on this. My take on this is that here the field force comes into play. Okay. You see, the field force knows what is behind the story, what is behind the unbranded story, but they are there to talk about the brands. Okay. And by the way, I mean, uh, you see, th this is, as I told you, unbranded uh, digital platform, breathefree.com. Uh, but if you see the other channels, other platforms, they're, they're talking about their brands. If, yes, you, if you go into sipla.com. Yes, sir. But what I appreciate about this campaign is they have that courage and yes, made yes. that investment. There was a lot of investment in this. Oh, okay, so, sir. Okay. Yes. It, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Means they are uh, creating a job very simple of their medical representative. They are creating an aura for their medical representative. You just absolutely. go. Uh, yeah, yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. They are giving Got them it. yeah, yeah, to converse. Because, you know, what, what the medical rep can also do is he need not say anything. He, as it is, he's getting less and less time. Okay. Now, not only less time, maybe once a month. But, you know, he can use these digital platforms as a lead, navigate, converse, and then take feedback. Got it, sir. Got it. Sir. Thank you very much. And then meanwhile, I will good read out a few good compliments, sir. Uh, since I know you, Bhaskar, when would you are completing your PhD? Uh, you <laughs> must finish it as quick to take digital marketing to next level. Uh, Mr. Hitesh Upriti is also there. Welcome. Who, who is this person, gentlemen? Uh, Back to Roy. Yes. Oh, actually, he's my friend. He's my friend. Okay, okay. Anyway. Yeah, uh, someone is asking the question. Please, please go ahead. Uh, no, no, Pat to Roy. Sir. Don't worry. 
Uh, inshallah, I'll finish the PhD. Don't worry. Yeah. Good evening, sir. This is Gaurav Fondra. I am a student from Naipur, Hyderabad. Sir, okay. Uh, I currently I am uh, like I am I am pharma I am a student in uh, pharma I am studying pharmaceutical management. So, sir, I read also Kotler pharma uh, pharma uh, Kotler marketing management fifteenth edition. So recently okay, I read that uh, roles play by customers in the market. That mm -hmm. the speaker, buyer, user, and that mm -hmm. there is a one point when inventorizer. That the customer recommend product to others. So, sir, what is different difference in advocacy and inventorizer? Because in marketing for yeah, advocacy and we, advocacy and what is the difference between in, advocacy in, and e n v a n g l i z e r? Where Kotler explain customer recommend product to others. I evangelist. Didn't get that word. I think evangelist. Uh, oh, evangelist. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Preaching. Okay. All marketing people are evangelists. Huh? Let me tell you one thing. You know, where, when I went for my uh, PhD interview, I was talking about uh, a concept. It's on pharma digital marketing. The person, uh, vice chancellor who was evaluating me, he says that if you are, if you are going to do PhD, you have to stop being an evangelist. I said, I am a born evangelist. Evangelist is one who promotes something. I can be a spiritual evangelist. I can be a missionary evangelist. I can be a product evangelist. Evangelist is someone, a medical representative with the true spirit is an evangelist. Because he has only that uh, concept in mind, which he wants to communicate with his customers and get positive feedback and action and advocacy. Okay, evangelist is one who uh, propagates a concept. Actually, it has come from religion, but uh, evangelist is also used in marketing. Thank you so much. Sir, yeah. uh, sir uh, my name is Kalpesh Trivedi. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I missed your session for about first uh, half an hour, but uh, whatever I heard, very, very insightful. And uh, thank you. I was just wondering how I was not uh, introduced to you till now. So it, uh, it was a very insightful session. Sir, one thing uh, which I would uh, like to know from you, somebody who has moved from sales to marketing, which would be the first three books which you would recommend that they uh, must read books for somebody who has moved from sales to market? Uh, very easy. The author is with us here, <laughs> Professor <laughs> Vivek Hatangadi. Where okay. is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is the author of these books because he has himself, you know, transformed from sales to sales management to product management to marketing. Sir, where are you? Professor Vivek Hatangadi. Aapke samne hi hai. Aja, aapke samne. Acha, acha, acha. Acha, no, no, let me have the pleasure, the privilege of, uh, I don't know whether all of you know, some of you might be knowing, uh, Pankaj may, may, may be knowing, but uh, Professor Vivek Hatangadi has, is the uh, awardee of Lifetime Achievement Award in Pharma Marketing. I think all of us should clap for him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And he's written, I don't know, I, I know three books, but maybe more. And all that you're talking about is his. Uh, you should read his books. They're really nice books. I think sixth one is in the line, right, sir? Oh, sixth launching. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. It's launching soon. And we will hold a uh, book discussion session on the sixth book very soon. So everyone is invited in that session also. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome. Yeah. So anyone else who would like to interact?
if anyone is having any questions or want to compliment sir or have some discussion over marketing 4.0 even marketing 1 to 3 uh, kindly unmute and sir good evening uh, i am pancham oh okay hello pancham kumar from yes, patna sir. from patna uh, yeah yeah sir from patna <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, nice yeah. How are you? See you after a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And How are uh, you? it uh, keep me in back on uh, I think uh, 1998 when we have met uh, in Kathmandu. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so yeah. thanks for uh, very good insight on uh, this digital marketing, sir. Can I get uh, the full uh, session where I can see because I have joined little late. No, you will uh, get it from Dr. Swati and Dr. Satish. Yeah, sure, sir. Uh, so uh, the session was was live at Facebook also. So after this uh, session is over, you can go to pharmastate dot com, the organization name of ours, oh, okay. pharmastate dot com, and it will be there only for uh, for long. And also, we'll be uh, post uh, putting this particular session on YouTube also. Uh, maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Sadish, can you put the link of WhatsApp group where uh, anyone who is interested in the sessions uh, can join? So we will post the link there also. Yeah, that will be the great idea. Right, it will yes, be nice sure, sure. Uh, for everyone. Yes, yes. yes we will yes. post the link of the WhatsApp group. I'm just see Bhaskar the time and again. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank okay, you, thank you, you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm just yeah, yeah. Nice uh, to connect with you. Yes. Dr. Swati, before we end, I would like to say one or two words. Sure, sir. Please. Tell me when you are going to end, and then before that, I will say. Okay, okay, Vivek sir. And Bhaskar sir. Let me have the last word. <laughs> you will have the last word. <laughs> so, so the session is open for discussions and interactions. You're right. Anyone else who would like to ask? Uh, yeah, nothing sir, to discuss. Just a compliment. I... Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, this is Hitesh from uh, Tanzania. You know, I have been knowing Bhaskarda for last fifteen years, but I never knew this face of Bhaskarda. Excellent Bhaskarda, maja aagya. Hey, thank you, thank you, Hitesh. You. In fact, you should read what uh, Hitesh has written. He has written that he you remind him of Professor Tarun Gupta. Oh my God! See in the oh. chat box here. <laughs> okay, okay. No, actually, yeah, yeah, I did not see all the comments in the chat box. I no, 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 Hitesh ji. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, see, if you're talking about uh, late Professor Tarun Gupta, uh, Professor Vivek knows him very well. Uh, but uh, Professor Vivek, I want to narrate one uh, <coughs> anecdote with uh, Professor Tarun Gupta. You know, I, you know, he is he was a legend, and uh, we all knew him. But I, I didn't meet him. You know, I didn't meet him personally. But Uh, this was this must be about three years back uh, before he passed away, maybe one year before he passed away. You know what? I I am very active in social media. Suddenly, I found Professor Tarun Gupta also in Facebook, and he was following my posts in Facebook, and he wrote to me that, "Do you know Oscar?" you and i we are from the same alma mater we studied in presidency college presidency college yes and then he, we started conversation so i was say oh my i great honor privilege for me to converse with the legend uh, and that even online in social media <clears throat> so that was uh, really very good i i feel very sad to hear about his passing away but uh, but he is always remembered especially <clears throat> especially uh, by people like you uh, professor vivek who uh, you know keep uh, remembering him whenever you uh, have a session and interact there are two persons you always uh, remember professor chitta mitra and uh, professor tarun gupta uh professor vivek always they are the two gurus he always i appreciate that in fact i also met uh, professor chitta gupta uh, mitra chitta mitra in in his office that time i was a marketing manager in ipca and i had gone with my managing director to meet him we had a very good uh, session 
oh, what insightful analysis of prescription audit, unbeatable. Hello. Yes. Yeah, Hello. Hello. Yeah, good evening, Bhaskar sir. Good evening, Swati. And uh, good evening, everyone, all the audience. This is Vipin here from Ethiopia. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, what is the Vipin name? Vipin Dixit. Vipin. Oh, Vipin Dixit. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, in today in the audience also is uh, one of my gurus also. So, Mr. Hitesh Uprethi, thanks, uh, ah. Hitesh, sir. And good evening to you again. No, no, uh, you rightly what... said. No, Hitesh well, Uprethi is, he has leadership qualities. Really. <clears throat> Uh, from last uh, almost six years, uh, I'm knowing him and uh, uh, also uh, really uh, thanks to you, Bhaskar, sir. It's a really it was very insightful and excited uh, session for the, especially in this uh, new market trend, uh, which is the changing nowadays, especially in the COVID situation and all. Yes. So only just uh, uh, my purpose to come on this uh, platform to say thanks to you and uh, Swati. Actually, this is my first time to interact with you, but uh, I interact with uh, Vivek sir and uh, others. Most of the time, I'm trying to connect with this uh, uh, this uh, Pharma State platform. So, thanks to all. Thank you very much. Thanks for that session. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, good Thank evening. Uh, can I say I'm Shalini Singh? Okay. Very good evening, Pastor, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Swati. Thank you, Vivek, sir. For... In fact, I'm so sorry I could not join from beginning. Mm -hmm. So, very insightful session. I started from 7 o'clock. Extremely insightful. Thank you so much. But here I have a query. The yes. digital, sir, digital segment now, honestly speaking, we all have been hearing from last four or five years. Honestly, the importance started coming during this corona. I am being speaking very practical thing. Because I am in this industry since last 14 years. Right now, I'm working in a very small company named Delco Life Sciences. Okay. Here, everybody is speaking on digital, digital, digital. Cipla is a known company since years. They have not built digital today. They are in digital since years. And now, honestly, they have been opportunistic. They could use the platform to provide knowledge, to help consumers and all. But how this digital 4.0 is going to help small companies? Sir, I've worked with Abbott six years. I have been associated with them. Abbott has its own setup. Sun has its own setup. Each and every the company which have their own expand, good opportunity, they have their own place. It's easier for them to penetrate. But for any company which is below 20th rank or 30th rank, it is an another market where we are exploring, which doesn't promise ROI. And sir, we sit in a market where in, in every next month we are supposed to develop ROI. So don't you think so? There it is a challenge. I mean, I'm Absolutely. sorry. I'm, I'm... No, no, no. No, you said your name is Salini, right? Salini Singh. Salini. Yes, sir. Yes, Salini, sir. Singh. Salini Singh, thank you for coming out with this question. Because uh, this question is a very valid practical question and needs to be addressed by us. I will give you my points. Please. Number one, number one, see this digitalization, it has to come with the conviction of the leadership, the management. Mm -hmm. Okay. Without the conviction, the commitment from the C suite, which you call it the managing director, the owner, yeah. or the CEO, without their conviction and commitment, this can never happen, number one. If they are committed, even a small company can do wonders. But okay. there, are, there are some cautions. You know, for digital engagement, it is very simple. You just have to have a website and the linkages, you know, the sure. content, content. You know, whatever elements, ingredients you saw, uh, all those you have to have, right? Some, I'll give you another case after I finish this. Okay. But, but if the 
if the leadership is convinced he should be he or she should be able to convince the existing field staff that this digital engagement from the corporate is not going to work in silo it is going to integrate to support and complement the field force activities that is very important and it will help because there are there are studies which says that with field force the growth is 9% but if the digital engagement supports the field force and engages the con, uh, consumer and the consumers or the doctors and the community in a closed loop system what happens is the productivity goes more than 16% because of the digital engagements because it is something today the medical rep the field force can't meet the doctor frequently doesn't get them time but if they can work in uh, integrated manner they can involve the digital engagement with not only the prescribers but also with the community the patients you know in a small budget because see as i told you uh, it is ubiquity it can be present and it is accuracy it is targeted okay and it is low investment low investment but in a small way but your field force has to be trained has to be upskilled and how to utilize it for the benefit to make it more productive it's a it's a culture digital culture is something which you have to develop yeah yes. sipla sipla has done it because mm. they started the digital culture with the new leadership from 2017 i don't know whether it's a coincidence marketing 4.0 also was published in uh, 2017 mm. and they also started i have got records that they okay. also started from 2017 um yeah you know okay. uh, there is an article uh, by the uh, economic times with an interview of uh, kedar upadhyay who's the joint president and the global cfo of sipla who says that they started this it digitalization uh, not only with the sales and marketing in every department even in drug discovery in r and d in the labs everywhere you see it's a culture and i and i spoke to you about the leadership but sipla is not the only company let me tell you among the top the 20 companies everyone is engaged digitally true sir but how and when they are engaged that is the thing you know how the culture they have developed i'll give you another example vivek sir this is for everyone i studied another company you will not believe that company's website has such good digital content to engage the doctors as well as engage consumers because they have consumer products uh, in the sense that mm, nutraceuticals okay uh, consumer healthcare products so there is e-commerce in there there is call to action a consumer can buy through the uh, website from amazon and the doctor can get cme medical journals from the same uh, website but i doubt whether uh, it is integrated with the field force if it was that company would have been in the top 50 by now it is not even in the top 50 although the company is 85 years old mm. you understand so it's about the culture it is about the okay. commitment it's about the investment you are you can't invest on digital and not invest in the sales management in the field force field force correct so these are the various issues so basically it has to be a very integrated kind of thing absolutely okay and, and this uh, is about the not... digital what, what what did uh, philip potler say correct to coexist coexist Correct, correct, sir. Correct. So, and, and this is what digital marketing is all about. 
What yeah, the me, Bhaskar me. Dai is talking, talking is mainly about digital marketing, integrating the sales and the digital teams. Shalini, this is a very good yes, uh, example which uh, uh, yeah. Bhaskar is, has given. I yes, sir. Thank yes, sir. him for that. He has given us two beautiful examples of uh, digital marketing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shalini. Thank you for asking. Yes, any more questions? I think then you can give uh, Professor Vivek the last word. So we have comments coming up. Mr. Mehta okay. has commented. Uh, Mr. Mehta was asking something like, uh, sir, your comments on the marketing strategy used by GSK. GSK. Typically. Okay. So I asked him whether you can come live and interact, but I think Mr. Mehta, would you like to come and interact or we should take the question only? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Actually, I don't want to come in on GSK. You know why? Because, no, no, no. I have not studied GSK so well. So you better not comment. I wanted to uh, study the Indian companies and then I found the digital presence of CIPLA uh, with a 360 degree uh, involvement. So that's why I uh, presented you CIPLA. But um, I, I have studied the Indian companies in the top 20. All of them are digitally engaged. Yeah, yeah. If you have something to add to this, Mr. Mehta, you can add about uh, GSK or something. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so like uh, I was, uh, I am a student of MBA and uh, completed my BPharm last year. So like uh, I was just going through the GSK, like uh, how they are marketing, like since many years, like before the Codeless uh, 4.0, they are consi consistently, they are doing the digital marketing. And because of their brand image, they are also gaining the advantages of brand in for their medical reps towards the doctors and just innovation and through innovations, they are continuously bringing new products. But just digital marketing is their main focus. And now they are a big brand along with that. That's big. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Correct. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Mr. Sheel Verma has uh, written about the digital engagement and output. A very common analysis can be done by asking ourselves how many people around us are getting master in understanding IT or digital tools to help them carry out for accomplishing their purpose, OTC, ethical pharma, generic medicine supplies, etc. Mr. Sheel, would you like to interact directly? Uh, yes, good evening to all. Good evening, sir. Uh, Hello. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, yes. Uh, Shil Verma, uh, good evening. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sir, for coming for late uh, during this session. But actually, the thing I was looking upon is about the digital platform details, which were uh, recently now been talked by one madam, what she said. That is there uh, any integrity about the use of tools, what in market they are using? for their brand marketing and as a purpose, what they are getting as an output. Is it a part of all companies or whether a small, because I think she told she is working with Del Cure, as she said that a small house, but actually they started up within Facebook, putting their live prescription over there. So that is again a part of IT or digital use, what platform is digital again. Mm -hmm. So is it going to get better for all to come out with such activities? But in spite of it, like other companies are using uh, this uh, iPad and other, uh, other things they are using inside chambers. And as in my last session, I think I attended that also. When I said that now here at our place in Jodhpur, Rajasthan, the other people, they are uh, asking and not allowing us to use these digital tools. But as a 4.0, as a Philip Kotler's details, which has been discussed. Ma, actually, I was not in part of all the session, but I can understand that things were uh, talked about it. And uh, I wish to know that the analysis done by us only in the field, because we are mostly a field people. Not all time we are available on their internet or other things, but when we are, because almost uh, five to four hours, we are in the waiting uh, time, I think. We, we need to be wait for doctor calls. So in that time part only we can use it digital, okay. uh, digital, digital platform, but that is very grateful and helpful for us all. And what yes. we see is whether it is a small house or a big house, that it is, is the essence of the tools which we are using for us. And that is only for single purpose. That is the outcome because we are there only to give results. 
so that i have uh, listening to that question of madam uh, that's why i put that message uh, about the digital no no, no no correct you you have answered uh, the point very well okay, i mean I, I, i have just put my, my uh, thoughts yeah 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 no no absolutely agreed with you because see these companies who have given them given the field force a mobile app okay yeah and now the mobile app always remember a digital even philip kotler says that it's not vertical it's horizontal okay, okay. so yeah. uh, the medical rep who's waiting for the doctor is actually being helped by the uh, the digital services uh, on what to talk to the doctor what to show him what to ask or just to feedback within one or two minutes okay Agreed. but in the meantime in the meantime the medical rep can develop his product knowledge by going through uh ciplamed ciplamed okay like okay. i'm giving an example right yes, so yes. that waiting can be utilized fruitfully yes yes agreed sir right sir very rightly said sir hmm. thank you mr shil hello hello uh, hello 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 yeah yeah hi how are you askar this is nitin bangale oh you are the artist You're very good <laughs> thank artist you, very creative person yeah 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 <laughs> thank you thank you you are yeah. you are from kenya right yes yes yeah 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 okay okay on on welcome, this digital welcome. platform thank yeah, you yeah. digital platform i want to to add see it is a good for now see you will see most of the consumer even the villages people can go and ask for medicines with the name with the pharmacy so okay one way you are exposing them for a right information instead of getting wrong information hmm. this is but you have to be very careful because especially for the small companies when they are going for it whatever content you are putting in a digital media because you are always under the watch of hawk eyes of fda because they will always see what you are promoting if something right. goes you you are behind the bar and especially with the managements so that's why many people especially the small scale who have started from distribution model to manufacturing they will believe the sales is the best marketing is of no use most of them they will have a me too product because yeah. what require is a 30 to 40 products in general practice true 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 to bring them on this digital platform is of course a uphill task slowly they will come but maybe some agencies if somebody starts some of the professionals who are sitting here now can get clue mm -hmm. that okay you can go and help them so they might come at least 50% will certainly yeah, yeah. they will have to start correct. around maybe yeah, 10 yeah, years correct 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 yeah absolutely thank correct. you yeah yeah true, true 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 yeah yeah acha some one interesting case you all must have heard about generic aadhar yes this 18 year old arjun deshpande yes. what he is yes. doing with tatas yeah yeah see the thing is the idea the concept the strategy he said that i find he's by the way his mother is an international pharma marketing so he used oh. to travel with his mother to uh, many foreign yes. countries and used to see the, the generic of india uh, so high priced and why it is so um, i mean uh, it can be low in india something like that he found out and then he found some pharmacies in thane that there were single owner pharmacies but they were not doing well their business was declining why because their customers were going to these uh, medical malls and uh, the online pharmacies and things so his customers although he was old people know him but they're not coming to him and all the medicines they're so expensive so arjun what he did is he got with an got an idea that what if i buy uh, what you call generics from who gmp certified uh, manufacturers and directly supply them to the pharmacies they can actually save up to 80% in pricing in the sense that there is no wholesale margin right and then all retailers they nowadays they give 10% discount to the customers because of the competition and they are left only with about 10 or less than 10% discount uh, for their margin for them they have to pay the rent the electricity bill the helper salary this that they had so what he is saying is that i will give you 
at a much lower price you keep your margin sell and this will be much lower from 50 to 80% less to the patient like for pensioners old people then gradually he started doing this providing them with a software where to maintain the inventory ordering he he serviced them and then and even with a mobile app so that the pharmacists got in touch with the neighboring uh, patients who uh, customers so like that he started getting back you know and this generic aadhar quality medicine affordable price started spreading and he is also talking about the government's um, policies right so uh, that is how why i explain this to you everything depends with the idea the strategy that you if you have a small company you have a me too product but if you have a good idea and a strategy where you can involve both digital digital doesn't always mean that you have to have a website and a uh, facebook and uh, social media no not necessarily okay but if you can think of a mobile app and then connect or engage your customers uh, with the product you know and then synchronize with the field so these activities will make a difference you will make a sure, difference sure. yeah Oh, sure thank you welcome thank you mr nitin thank you baskar sir and welcome, welcome. comments and question will keep on coming uh, yeah. yeah i think swati it's 8 and uh, <laughs> it's 2 hours yes and, so uh, vivek sir i hand over the session to you i was listening thank to you, you today thank you very much thank you and, very much and, and listening to one of your sessions today and i think uh, we will be bringing up another session with you and i was very very engaged with that uh, idea of dr reddy is connecting with dentist <laughs> so we we will be listening to that thing uh, very very soon and now i hand over this to you yeah i am very happy to tell you that our speaker of today baskar da if i may call him but he gets irritated when i call him uh, baskar da <laughs> he is no, no. going to be our first speaker who is going to talk about strategy execution on world pharma brand managers day and if you have read Thank about you. world pharma brand managers day uh we have the entire session in two parts where we talk about strategy and the second part we are going to talk about strategy execution in the first part how the strategies are crafted what are the various things which are required to go into formulating a strategy but equally important is strategy execution and where we are going to talk about seven brands and the first brand which is going to be talked about is by bhaskar da and he is going to talk about an eternal brand and that eternal brand i can somebody guess which is that eternal brand anyone anyone put it on the chat box which is that <laughs> eternal brand <laughs> yeah there is no price for that but <laughs> no 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 price for that <laughs> uh, that eternal brand is big box sales wow he is going to talk about Thanks. how we executed the strategy and he has one of the pioneers in bringing uh, uh, big box sales to this level so i invite all thank of you thank you thank you professor uh, vivek baskar on uh, 3rd january along with the other speakers and anybody interested we can enroll immediately and uh, dr swati and uh, dr satish will send you the google forms but don't miss this opportunity it is an event of the year 2020 uh, 21 and before that we have one more day which is the pre brand managers day which will be exclusively for students or those who have just passed out in uh, 2020 june july that's all what i wanted to say thank you dr swati thank you dr satish thank you vivek thank you, sir we are vivek. all uh, looking forward to that um, uh, big day for the brand managers and um, thank you so much vivek sir for uh, being the program director you have been very helpful in organizing this uh, event 
and uh, bhaskar sir thank you so much for a wonderful wonderful uh, case study yes. on sipla it yes. was yes. very yes. well dissected and i think many questions were answered which people are asking us in many sessions also live sessions like what what is it actually about how to implement it so we we got to learn today how to implement it and i um, thank uh, from the bottom of the heart uh, to the participants who um, participated today thank you hitesh priti sir thank you pankaj shivastava sir and um, thank you uh, bhaskar sir thank you vivek sir stay connected with us we are going to bring more sessions uh, for you on uh, uh, very relevant topics uh, which are the need of the art today and uh, also we have a uh, course uh, from bhaskar sir uh, already um, uh, present at pharmastate academy so you can join the whatsapp group first and we will send you all the links related to uh, the course the events that we do and uh, also the brand managers day uh, registration form that will be there so thank you all for attending uh, this is all from my side and bye for now thank you bye bye, bye. Hey, we will keep meeting